So we just uh, picked up this pet fence, polycarbonate fence, uh, to build around our uh, our garden to keep the chickens out. Now they call this a landscaping fence. They also call this a uh, a pet fence, uh, but we're using it as a garden fence because uh, it this wouldn't keep out our big dog. We've got a uh, a Great Pyrenees and we've got a uh, golden retriever that would tear this down real easy. It's not the sturdiest of fences. If you look down this fence, you can see where the wind is blowing it out. Now, I don't have the strongest of stakes. I went with these 48-inch uh, um, ground stakes, these garden stakes, and um, I've got these driven into the ground six inches just to add a little bit of stability to my fence. I used some steel uh, six-foot uh, fence post for my corner stakes because uh, there was no way that these stakes were going to hold uh, the, uh, the tension on the corner. I would keep that in mind that I would use something a little bit sturdier than these little garden stakes uh, for the corners. On the, on the sides, it works out real well. You can see it's holding up. We're pretty windy right now, and it's actually been pretty windy for days, uh, but the fence is going to do fine. It's holding up fine. It's obviously keeping the chickens and the d ducks and the guineas out doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now I did use I did use industrial strength zip ties and I used on every one of these garden stakes I used four zip ties, four zip ties on the garden stakes and then on the the corner post I used multiple, I used multiple. So for my uh, for my fence I am 30 by 14, 30 by 14. So I got 70, 80 feet right here, 80 feet of fencing. For 80 feet of fencing, I used uh, I used 10 of the uh, the garden stakes. You can probably use a lot more than that. Uh, they do come in a pack of 25. Uh, and then I also used 100 of the zip ties. Probably don't need 100, but I just wanted to keep the fence secure and I had them, so I went ahead and used them. Now when it comes to the door up here, for the door, I'm gonna be using a chain for the door. Um, but I had an old gate here. Uh, again, I probably wouldn't use anything uh, like this for the door, uh, but I would make some way to, to get in and out of. So I used an old fence gate, and I, I zip-tied it also to these fence posts and left one end open. i got a couple of garden tools keeping it shut right now until I get it secured with a, with a chain or with a, a rope to, uh, uh, to tie that shut.